What is going on? Thank you for watching this next video. Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and what we're doing here is removing the masking tape and the fine line tape which is the darker blue skinny fine line tape that you see me taking off in just a bit. It's about one eighth wide, one eighth inch wide and also they also have a quarter inch wide. It, fine line tape is used for making graphics, okay? Uh, doing pinstriping graphics, doing uh, flames, and just separating colors when, when you're doing multi-tone paint jobs. So we're removing that because we got our three-tone paint already done. So we could spray our clear coat over everything. So it's getting there. It's looking great. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video series. So yeah, we do have some overspray in the bed. That's not a big deal because the whole entire inside of the bed is going to be raptor lined. So a little overspray here and there, you know, the truck is not 100% complete at this stage, right? We're still in the middle of building it. So um, you'll see, you'll see the raptor liner is actually some awesome, it's an awesome product. I love it. I would definitely use it again for an undercoating of some sort if you if you want to do an undercoat or a bed liner. It's really good durable stuff. I actually love it. Raptor liner. Good stuff. And this is the fine line tape that I'm talking about used to mask. Alright, so we're just using that to create the line. Here uh, we did the same thing on the tailgate. We had some light overspray right in here. Okay, going through the tape line, you can see that green. I'm not happy about it. But the only way to fix that again would be to, you, we could try to wipe it. I did try to wipe it out, okay, um, but you could still see it. It's in that groove there and it's very hard to get. You could try to sand it, um, but the best way would be to just mask this and dust it base again. And again, it wouldn't be that much of a <laughs> pain in the butt if it was a, just a one color, but because it's a two-tone, it's actually a, a dual color layer, right? Because you got your white base and then you got your moon dust white pearl on top of it. It's a pain in the butt. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, what I could do is try to hide it with a pinstripe later. I could always put a black pinstripe in between here and just black it out because I think black does look cool. And I might be adding some black pinstripe to this because the black looks good like this. So when you use a tack rag, make sure to open it up all the way, then fold it up into a palm sized square and tack everything down right before you shoot it. Be sure not to push too hard with the tack rag because you'll get the glue on the paint panels. Just go over it lightly and just tack everything down. Now we are finally mixing and we're about to spray our clear coat. Now I'm using the House of Color clear coat system here and I love House of Color. I think they make a very, very high quality clear coat. Um, and because this is a project that I really wanted to look good on the outside, I decided to use um, a really good clear coat. All right. So this kit cost close to 300, probably around 280, 290 or so. I don't remember how much I paid exactly, but under 300 bucks uh, for the clear coat kit. And we're going to put two heavy coats, two medium to heavy coats of clear on it load it on and we're gonna be perfectly fine so let's get painting clear coat you always want to spray with a little higher uh, air pressure I like to spray just under 30 28 29 uh, psi trigger pulled looking at the gauge all right <clears throat> wide open fan as well <clears throat> and uh, let's get ready for for blasting it now I'll, I'll tune in every once in a while you want to make sure you're your cap is fully horizontal and adjusted as well, right? And um, and that's pretty much it, right? Let's start whacking it. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the roof. Usually when doing complete paint jobs, you want to start on the roof of the passenger side and then walk your way down to the door and then walk around the car. I have videos in VIP that show you the ways to, to navigate around the car. Um, but on this little mini truck here, since we could do the whole roof in one pass like this, I just jumped up on the bed and we're just going to lay the clear coat on. Um, I was thinking of adding a flake here, but then I decided not to because of, you know, I, there's pearl there and 
and all of that. What we did not complete yet on this project, which I will add to once I do it in the next couple of weeks, is do the rims. I did not paint the rims. Um, I'm going to be spraying the rims the same color silver that we have, and I may throw some silver flake in it, some X finishes silver flake in the rims just to make them pop a little bit. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You know, some people on YouTube are telling me, hey, why don't you put some nice rims and tires on it and yada, yada, yada. You know, it's not something that I'm going to flip and make money on. So there's no sense of really putting too much money in it. You know, I just wanted to, to do what I could do skill set wise, have a cool little truck and teach you guys in the process on how to how to complete it. Right. So we're going to keep the steelies as far as the rims go. And uh, we're just going to put some fresh coat of silver base coat on it. Maybe you'll throw, just throw some silver flake in the clear coat, like I said. This is probably one of the most fun parts to painting, you know, actually getting the clear coat on, seeing everything gloss up besides taking the paper off when it's done that's like one of my favorite parts as well so you know it's clearing everything laying that clear on super super thick and nice and just removing the paper it's like a huge big fat birthday present you know on a completed paint job oh my god it's the best feeling in the world <laughs> The only time you don't want to run is if you're running with pearl. If you have pearl in your clear coat or if you have silver flake in your clear coat or whatever flake or candy, you don't want to run with that because you're literally going to mess up your paint job. So once you learn how to paint basic clear coat and you figured out um, spray gun speed, spray gun pressure, you know, spray gun distance between panels and you don't run then I would step forward and move to advanced stuff like spraying with candies uh, or mixing pearls or flakes in your clear coat instead of using a mid coat you could just basically use a clear coat as your mid coat um, spray a coat or two let that set up and then spray plain clear over it you get what I'm saying so you don't have to use the DBC I've really never used the DBC intercoat um, until I started teaching this stuff to you guys because some of you guys are like, hey, I want to learn how to use a DBC and inner coat clear, not a clear, I always say that, an inner, inner coat base, which is a clear base coat, right, DBC by PPG. It's called the DBC 500 and we use that in this project, right, to mix our pearl, our X finishes pearl in. Um, but anyway, here we are, whacking it out with clear coat. It's looking great, laying on really nice. Uh, using our Atom X21 spray gun. Um, if you're in the market for an awesome spray gun, the Atom X21 is fantastic. Just a little touchy for newbies um, because of some of the seals, but they are fantastic guns if you know how to care for them. Um, I do recommend the Atom X21 and also the Atom X27 that's going to be coming out, which is a clone of the SADA 5000. You're going to be very happy with these guns. Um, the X20 is also a solid build. And they're literally my go-to guns right now. Atoms are the only guns I spray with. They're fantastic. Uh, repair kits are cheap. Um, tip kits are affordable. And the quality is there. You know what I mean? So, so that's that. So let's continue spraying here. Finish it off. Do the tailgate. And um, the next videos... Uh, we're going to be unmasking, showing you the completed project, and uh, and just moving through the videos. We have a few more few more videos through the series to, to complete it. And um, I hope you enjoyed everything so far. I hope you learned a lot.
so what you're seeing me do here on a new panel is just blow away any dust or anything that could be sitting on the panel right before I clear it. All right, so I just go to the panel, I just blow some air on it quick, and then I proceed to clear coat. All right. So once again, it's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, share it with your friends, comment below, let me know what you think. And if you want to learn more about DIY Auto Body, check out LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Grab the free 85-page booklet uh, to talk to you about step-by-step -step auto body, A to Z, a lot, of, a lot of technical stuff I go over. Also, don't forget to check out Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP. It's a complete step-by-step -step programming course that goes over over 100 hours of step-by-step -step videos on all things auto body just like this. I've been doing this for 20 years, been paint, painted my first car at 15 years old, and uh, had multiple cars and car shows, did so many things, grew up with this basically, uh, learned through my father. And um, I want to teach you the exact skills that you need to bang out awesome, amazing paint jobs from home. A lot of our members have uh, took our course before going to auto body school. Uh, they have opened up their own body shops, customized their own cars, and more. So it's Tony. Thank you so much. I'll see you in future videos. Please like, share, subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.